Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 19th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm and exactly how both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are really going to be handling things moving on forward with Disney Plus and the new theatrical releases such as the new Star Wars trilogy of films and other movies out there as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing that is for certain is that we have George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni all hard at work on developing this new EU. I like to call them FFL or LFF, Lucas, Favreau, and Filoni, the new trio of this new Star Wars universe that's really going to bring fans into new timelines and a new mythology in general. You know, we have, for starters, The Mandalorian Season 2 and Season 3 that's really going to introduce some of the animated characters in live action form and eventually the return of a young version of Luke Skywalker in the mix for The Mandalorian Season 3. We got the Boba Fett character coming back to life or setting the story straight that he never really died at the very end, or should I say at the very beginning of Return of the Jedi, leading to the mystery of his whereabouts at the very end of that movie, right? So with that being said, what's really interesting all has to do with many of the different projects that they are working on, ranging from books to novels, comics, video games, TV shows, and movies that's really going to make up this new universe that is actually attempted to match up against the MCU. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really interesting is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm now finished with the Skywalker saga, as far as the films go, both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are both hard at work on developing a new Star Wars universe and finding ways to continue the Skywalker saga that will introduce new timelines to the Star Wars franchise and more. Now, it's explained that George Lucas, Dave Filoni, and John Favreau are all working together hard together as a team in order to create a better and brighter future for the Star Wars community and the entire fandom. George, John, and Dave are currently developing a set of new Skywalkers for the new universe that will continue the Skywalker bloodline in different timelines. One Skywalker in particular that is moving forward is the character of Zane Skywalker that is planned to be the son of Rey Skywalker in a post-Episode 9 era. It's explained that Zane Skywalker is set to become a part of Rey's New Jedi Order that will be born on the world of Tatooine. The new Skywalker is said to be a combination of a bounty hunter, a Jedi, a smuggler, and even a criminal leader, where the new Skywalker is said to be a combination of Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and other characters of the Star Wars universe. Now, George Lucas also aims to create a story in this post-Episode 9 era that will explore Zane Skywalker facing a great new evil that comes from a new Star Wars galaxy that will be introduced in the Disney Star Wars canon sometime next year in 2021, where it's noted that both Dave Filoni and John Favreau are developing another story that will also introduce the daughter of Rey Skywalker that would go under the name of Kira Skywalker, which was the original name of Rey by J.J. Abrams for The Force Awakens. Kira Skywalker is said to be a combination of Jaina Solo and the original concept of Rey before The Force Awakens even released and was even written. Zane and Kira Skywalker are set to act together at some point in time in this post-Episode 9 era that will lead to new secrets about the Skywalker bloodline and the origin of the meaning of the name Skywalker. Zane and Kira Skywalker are set to become just as iconic as the solo siblings in Star Wars Legends, of course we're talking about Jaina and Jason, and that Dave Filoni and John Favreau will be handling the designs of these new characters for the new EU for the Star Wars fandom. Additionally, it's noted that the new Skywalkers by Lucasfilm also contains brand new powers that fans have never seen in both Star Wars Legends or even in the existing canon material by Disney that will make them the strongest Skywalkers in existence that will be a very powerful part of the new EU that Lucas, Favreau, and Filoni are developing. Lastly, it's explained that Lucasfilm plans to create figurines of these new Skywalkers in order to boost merchandise for the new Star Wars brands to make it more successful. So, the thing that really catches my interest on top of all of this is the fact that not only are they developing Zane Skywalker, but we talked about Kira Skywalker a couple of days ago, almost a week ago at this point, where 
they really want to continue the Skywalker saga in different ways, whether it be on television or in the books and the novels and the comics that's going to make up this new universe. That's exactly what they aim to do. The thing that really does interest me, though, is how Zane Skywalker is set to actually face a new foe that comes from a brand new galaxy that we have never seen before in the new Star Wars universe. So that's another thing to really keep in mind here is that they are developing a brand new galaxy that the fans have actually never seen in Star Wars canon or in Star Wars Legends. And the fact that they're gonna have new powers, that's also another thing to look forward to. So like I've said before in the past guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.